Thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian, but to you, my OGs, thank you for always tuning in. So guys, today's video is about Mercy Johnson and the Ghanaian woman claiming to be the biological mother of Mercy Johnson, the Nollywood actress. This story have been trending for some time. I didn't get a clear version of that story because it was done in the local dialects but yesterday i stumbled on the english version of that story and i i now get a clear understanding of why the woman is coming out so now that i've gotten a clear um, version of the story i feel like i should give my take for many reasons i am a mother i live in ghana i am a nigerian and i can relate to these things if you remember in 2021 i went to kumasi in search of a lady whom her dad was on, a, on his dying bed and he wanted to reunite with her he wanted above all things he just wanted to reunite with her nothing more that he wants ever in his life before he passes on but that couldn't happen because i went to kumasi go through the address that was given asked around did everything I couldn't locate the lady. I came back and the man have passed on. Though his family, he's still on it. They have, not, they have not given up on looking for this lady to reunite with the family. Just in case you're thinking of impossibility of things like that, that is why I brought that story for a start. So the lady said that she is the biological mother of Mercy Johnson, the Nollywood actress. And what she's asking people for right now is that people help her speak with Mercy, for Mercy to allow her come close and see if they can do a DNA test to ascertain if truly this is her missing child or not whatever result she gets from the dna test she is going to take it and that is why her story is everywhere trending as a matter of fact i want to say something at the beginning it was all funny it looks like mama is probably depressed and she needs some help but then again when you look at it closely we in all honesty without being biased about it without looking down on her financial status without looking down on her without looking on looking down on a lot of factors around that story fact, without looking down on her financial status because if this woman is rich all these things won't happen we will see it in the news this woman will go straight to nigeria and know she know what to do and she will get it done and come back without looking down on her financial status i think we should give her the audience because she may be she may be honest here with her story so according to the story in the 80s she met a liberian man in ghana here and then they got married even though i argue that they are not married because when before a man should marry you he should take you home to his own family and see if they are ready as an african man and see if the family wants will accept you if their family would like to have you in their family he can't just go to your family and pay bright price do the ritual and say you are married it is not right in according to the african tradition but maybe whatever happened then because liberia in those days used to be it's possible there was okay instead of us to go and die because we remember the civil war that had been going on in liberia back in the day so maybe it was during that time so it would be easy for you to say okay fine later we'll go home let's just get this done and then go on with our love life let's just get married and have kids so they already have kids already and um, one day according to the woman the man came up that they should go to liberia and continue their life there so she said no she feel comfortable raising her kids in Ghana so that she remain here she don't want to go to Liberia so the man according according to the woman she was at the market one day by the time she came back and she took one of her child to the with her to the market and then by the time she returned the man already left with Mercy Johnson in an Mercy Johnson's little brother by name Daniel Johnson so they all left for Liberia and then she didn't know how to trace them and then a few weeks later she got a letter from her husband telling her so when she got the letter she was feeling 
you know anxious to see if the man is asking her to join or probably giving her a clue of what where they are and how she can find her kids at least her children that is the first thing a mother wants to do no matter how much she loves the man the man later later once she get her kids she will deal with him she know what to do but she just want you know clue she want closure she just wanted to know how to go about getting her kids i mean unfortunately for her the letter didn't go that way it was boldly written that they were involved in an accident in lagos nigeria in fact the story didn't hold water but she didn't know where to find him and during that era internet was not popular tele uh, telephones were not popular it just a few people in fact just most of the time in some countries it's only government officials that had mobile phones then she have never been to his country before she didn't know where to find him so she took the story and have been living with it she have been heartbroken she have been crying she have been you know praying and hoping that one day she will see her children again According to her, she was watching a movie and then she stumbled, she saw the lady Mercy Johnson for the very first time and then something connected her to the lady and looking at Mercy Johnson in that video, she could tell that that is her missing child and now she wants answers. Unfortunately, Mercy Johnson's father passed on a few weeks ago, I mean a few months ago or so. So, but then a lot of Nigerians and Ghanaians are talking about this. Some are laughing at the woman that she's probably depressed. She should go and feed herself. Some are saying maybe it's true. But we Nigerians are saying it's not possible. Not because the woman cannot give birth to someone like Mercy Johnson. Mercy is nothing but a human being. And that woman is also human. Even though their financial status may not be the same. But why we are saying that is because we before mercy johnson's mother passed on she used to be actively involved in mercy's life and in fact when mercy got married to this man because the man ex-wife or then wife came publicly and it was mercy's mother that you know did the whole interview debunking and you know everything it was done by her mom her mom have been accused at some point in hollywood for being responsible for Mercy's success, that she have used their Igbira Juju to help Mercy career to blow fast. And then she have used that to oppress her colleagues. Please, this is not what I said. This is what I read. This is what I heard then. Even Mercy granted a couple of interviews, debunking all that and all that, clearing her part of the story. So her mom was actively involved in her life before she passed on. So it's hard for us to come now and just believe. If it's some actress who have been hiding their families, you know, it's okay. We don't know anything about this lady. So let's dig deep. So now digging deep is hard because we feel like there's nothing to dig but me oh i want to come with from my own angle with the story and the way the woman reaction is telling it could be true yes it could be true this woman could be telling the truth that mercy johnson is her daughter i mean it's not only this mercy that is mercy johnson there are lots of mercy johnson's out there According to her story, the man is Liberian, but Mercy Johnson's father is known to come from Okene, Ibira. Their tribe is Ibira from Okene in Koki State. So how come, like, this is where the story is not, is not connecting at all. But then nevertheless, I believe that this woman matter should be looked into and checked properly so that she can get the help she needs it's true that she may have lost her kids to this to something and they are somewhere in nigeria or anywhere or liberia or even in ghana here and never get reunited so if somebody a reputable journalist can come out and say okay let me be the one you know take take her from the way you're looking at the woman you can tell that she may not be able to sponsor all these trips to nigeria all this investigation but i strongly believe that people reputable humanitarian should come so she can go trace and see just give it a try and see if she can find her missing kids all right so the lesson in this video dear young girl <laughs> dear young girl this story should taught you and teach you a lesson yes lily who are you to talk to us after all you're a baby mama i know my darling hmm? i'm not denying that hmm? i am the president or baby mama associate of africa 
now currently the Ghana branch manager. All right, I know that part, right? Pot, my dear, but it still won't stop me from giving advice, okay? Any guy that tells you to get pregnant before he marries you does not love you and he will never marry you because when you give birth when you get pregnant and keep that baby give birth to that child that will become the reason he hates you that will become the reason he will leave you that will become the reason he will ju you just you'll be wondering what did i do and then we look around and say you have done nothing but this is how most men are a man that truly genuinely loves you want to marry you take you home first to his family and a man who don't take you home to his family please don't marry him he's not a good man it means he doesn't know where he's from he doesn't come from anywhere and if there are issues where will you go so before he tells you oh, i love you i want to marry you and then you agree let him come and see your family please go and know his own too it's very important okay this is especially here in africa where we believe in family so much not immediate family we believe more in extended family than immediate so you to be able to hold your immediate family together you need the extended family to do that and if you don't have their support my dear how you want it to um so now before you open your leg for any guy that says he loves you doesn't you don't know anything about him he hasn't married you don't do it okay he's not gonna marry you if you have that baby and some of them are going to come back to cost you lifetime problem like wanting to steal the baby from you surely he will disappear Hmm? leaving you alone with the pregnancy surely he will return when you have given birth and probably the baby is doing well and he is feeling guilty or curious to know what's happening and of course that child is part of him if he's also 50 percent of his blood so he's, there's something he, they do feel he surely he will come back surely he will hurt you some of them come back to kill these babies some of them come back to see these babies and take the baby away you as a woman you may want to continue with the same man you want to continue you want to continue with that tune of wanting to stay with that man regardless of what he has done to you because you want to have all your eggs in one basket to avoid going through the societal insult where if you just cough <coughs> someone will tell you shut up you have children for different men so you want to avoid that because that thing is not for everybody you see some of us that are dealing with that it can really get tough but for me I think I have gone past that stage, but I'm according to my mood anyway. So you as a woman, you may want to continue. But him, once you give birth for him, he don't want to marry you again. It's just a few. It's just like 9% out of 100 that do that. At the end, in fact, 5% out of 100 that end up marrying you after you have given birth for them. So I beg you, don't go and born for anybody, no matter what he tells you. All right? This is not me encouraging abortion, but I encourage contraceptive yes now nah, and i encourage you use protection though. but do you know that even protection too can disappoint some i have seen where protection fail and it results to a beautiful baby all right so when this gets when things go that way for me i'm a living example of that even though the whole heads don't believe me but i know what that is so when you come up with when this happened to you and you tell the guy you're pregnant and he avoids you it's okay leave it go on ahead have your baby surely my dear you will suffer but surely you will smile mm? but be ready to suffer so when you have the baby and he comes back definitely will come back into your life not because he loves you okay so when he comes back be careful he's coming to steal your child this could have happened to me if not that some of us are like a chance of day we are so old and god i would say god have been helping because you can never be too old for someone to deal with you if they want to so when they come they want to be involved in your child don't in your child's life they want to when they come back in the name of wanting to be involved in your child's life don't be careless about it some of them don't want you in their in that that life. they just feel like you don't deserve to have a child for them okay they're fine go away i don't deserve you because i have committed the greatest sin which is a child that you're hating me for so why do you want that same sin why do you want the child they want to take that child and raise it with another woman 
they just hate you that much and they want you gone for good. They believe when they have access to that child, they will raise it with another woman, brainwash the child, and the child will be against you. The one you will never see, some of them, if you are not from the same country, you can even come from the same country and still lose your child. If your country is as big as mine, where it takes you three days from Lagos to Medogri, three days on the road, will you be able to trace a child like that? So please, I am warning you, dear young women, one barracks I visited in Lagos, there was a child there living with his stepmom. That soldier guy went to some place. I won't mention that part of Nigeria. Even if people call home my neck, I will not talk because it's none of my business. Okay? The, the soldier guy got a lady pregnant over there and then he allowed this girl to, in his case, he didn't deny how. He showed her love. He was nice with her until she delivered and he stole that baby and brought it to the wife. To be taken care of why the mother of that baby is there looking for that baby be careful be careful and if you see her how the wife is how the wife is maltreating this little boy you will cry i beg you you don't want your offspring to go through stress and you don't want to go through stress if these people say they don't want you no problem don't release your child to them or don't release your child to them i'm warning you it's out of experience for me personally my child's first birthday party I was, you know, we hey, we should come to the house. You know, her dad said I should bring her to the house for her first birthday party because where I was living then there was nobody, it's just three of it's just gonna be me, it's just me and my little baby. And her dad said, Okay, bring the baby to the house where I have a lot of people at home so we can have the birthday done. And I said, Okay, I took the baby there, and that was the day the lady I saw in his house, who happens to be his new lover humiliated my life and that humiliated me i wouldn't say they humiliate my kids my kid is too precious for humiliation but me i was humiliated they humiliated me you know when people try to reduce you it just that me it just that there's a thing about me hmm? there's a thing about me oh. when you want to re reduce me you end up reducing yourself i'll help you to reduce yourself so that was what saved me and you know what they wanted to do he wanted me to sit inside, then they would take my baby, him and the girlfriend, they would go take pictures, do the party with the other kids. Am I that ugly? You may want to know. Were you looking uglier than this, Lily? No, I was even looking finer and younger then. In fact, I was okay, but that is how much he hates me. And he have, he have always said he, he, I should release the baby for him to get it so him and the lead, new girl can raise that child the new lady but clearly it's not like the lady is finer than me yeah but she loves him that is okay it's not like i'm older than them she's even older than me yes but he is his choice he doesn't want me in the picture he wanted me away that's the feeling he has towards me is hate he doesn't want me but because the child is his blood he wants her and he wants me gone this type of guys <laughs> They will take your child and disappear. You will not see them. So, dear young woman, if you have your parents alive and this kind of mistake you already make, take your child to your mother. It's not a shameful thing anymore to be a lady that have given birth. Okay? Even though the society tries so hard to paint us, make us look like disgusting people, in future you are going to smile. Look at this woman. If she had known where the man is from, okay, fine. If he doesn't want to go away from your child's life, he's hanging around, but he doesn't want to in his life, all you have to do is very simple. Follow him to where he comes from. Go and know the place. Know where he's from, okay? So that if anything comes up, you know where to go look for your child. Me, the day I followed baby daddy to his village and he presented me to his family, introduced me to all the right authorities. And I did sure say this is truly his family because I'm not blind, I can see. Please don't be blind. Some guys can go that, to that extent too. Lying to you about their family, take you to a village, convincing you to believe when it's fake. When you go back there, you see this fake. So please avoid future tears. Me, when he took me there, introduced to the right authorities and uh, everything. When I came back to the city, I told him, Oga, you are free to do whatever you want now. You will never have a chance. You will never get, I will never give you a chance to humiliate me again. Now I know I can raise my child in future, in case she want to know, which is her right to know, I know where to take her to. I know where to take her to go look for her father family. Case closed. So please, oh, 
please hold your kids especially if you, are, you have a kid with a man that is not from your country my dear these stories are real okay now let me tell you guys a story of the in um the nigerian woman that got married to an indian man in nigeria so they met in lagos nigeria she she took him to her family they got married they even did all the rights everything they came back continued their life and then she had four babies with him but one day this woman returned from where she went and her sons her daughters and her india husband were nowhere to be found all of them have run away they took their vital property in the house and left the house up until dead she does not she do not know where to find this man she do not have an idea where she don't know where to start from and some of us we get bad character the only people in the man's life in your husband's life that you are supposed to be nice to so that in the day of rain they will be there for you you will spoil the whole thing because you don't want them around they are you see who will you meet she have not been to india before so many things i won't tell you before you marry any man especially the man that is not from in fact before you marry anybody please go know his village go know his family some people are not from village okay yeah but still go know his his family all right so i hope that this video um reached you well and that i'll see you in my next one bye